true federal of the Comfab report and signing of the Petroleum Industry Bill into law sum up a roadmap to sustainable peace in the Niger Delta. This participants at a lecture in Wari Delta State say will deal with the cry over marginalization and cessationist plans by any tribe or region in Nigeria. TVC's Uvie Temer George has details. <laughs> When youths of the oil-rich Niger Delta region accepted the federal government's amnesty program instituted by the late Umar Musa Eradua's administration in 2009, Nigeria's oil reserves appreciated considerably. The status quo was halted in recent times by the emergence of the Niger Delta Avengers reducing crude oil production by 200,000 barrels per day in November 2016. With less or no attacks on oil facilities these days, credited to acting President Yemi Oshinbaja's visit to the region, participants at a lecture in Wari brainstorm on a roadmap to sustainable peace in the region. Violence, trouble in the Nigeria region means that there is crisis in the country. So all we will ask for, because we are giving so much to the federal government, and in turn, there must be a commiserate development to match with whatever they are taking from us. Before the civil war, there was a revenue sharing formula. There was federalism being practiced. How come unitarianism is coinciding almost with the discovery of oil in the region. Is it that these people really should be relegated to the background always? We are Niger Delta people and we must work hard together for that the world can take us serious and Nigeria can take us serious. Do you want to leave Nigeria or want to stay in Nigeria? If you want to stay in Nigeria, what are the conditions for staying in Nigeria? Ogene Emmanuel, representing Amuwa Dauphin Federal Constituency, Lagos, who stood in for the deputy speaker, joined others to prefer solutions to the Niger Delta problem. Except you allow us to control our resources, we will not rest. We want total resource control so that we can pay tax to government. That is what my people want. And I'm totally, totally standing with them in this regard. You take the oil from somebody, instead of you to even, even if it's 50% you take, no, you take 100% of it and give me peanuts. Then how would you expect justice? Let there be true federalism. Let the COFAB report come out. Let the PIB bills decide. Because we are all Nigerians. Even if people are talking about self-actualization, it is because of perceived injustice. But I'm sure that all this will be looked into. Ophiete George, TVC News Worry, Delta State.